There's something else that I really wanted to talk about in this game that uh, I've been thinking over the past couple of days that it's kind of good to go over just for like my refreshing, but for some people is utilizing your meter and doing big damage with combos, you know? What do you use your meter on? Do I always do super? How do I use max mode? Like what should I be doing with this? And I was given some tips as I was playing as far as like what's really good. And uh, I think we should put this into a contextual little thing to help people out. So here's the cool thing about KOF 15. Uh, the amount of meter you get in this game is actually kind of sick. And what you can do with meter is awesome because number one, you have EX moves. Uh, EX moves can be done outside of uh, max mode, which is different than 14. And they're quite good. Most of them feel like safe on block most of the time and they do a lot of damage and they can lead to big combos and stuff like that. Most of the time they're good and they only cost half a bar. Your EX moves are where you get really big damage most of the time in this game. For example, if we go back before that and you're like, how the heck do you combo in this game? Right, what do I even, how do I even get a combo in, in KOF? What's going on? And I have to remind you that your characters have command normals. Terry's is forward light punch and down forward heavy punch. And you can essentially, you could essentially uh, press a button close range or a button from even long range and get your command normal to come out. The command normal is great because you could just do anything after it, man. Uh, 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 uh. Into specials, you can go into a bunch of stuff. They're super good. That's essentially what you buffer into to allow yourself to do EXs or specials or something like that. So when you're up close with somebody like Terry, uh, instead of doing the usual, the usual command normal into a special attack, you can do something like crazy. Uh, for only half a bar, I'm gonna set up for some ridiculous ass damage. It can be a little difficult to figure out what's the good combo, what you should be doing. However, I will say there's a billion videos on YouTube of what combos you should be doing with characters and stuff like that. I will use Terry as an example here, but I just want you to look at the meter at the bottom left and watch how much bar I'm spending and how much life this shit takes away. So we have a punish opportunity here. So there we go. At the end of it all, I had built back nearly an entire meter. I spent two meters on that, but I built back nearly an entire bar and it did what, 40, 45% damage? Something like that? It gets even crazier in the corner. You can go really crazy, like the corner gets nuts, right? But here's the problem, right? Here's the problem with this situation. You gotta be close. You gotta be close to land this button into this button, you know? You gotta be close to land this button into, oh God, close to land this button into that button, right? And it requires you to get like a close range heavy. And that's really good. Those combos are a lot easier, but, but there is ways. You know, that works, that's good. It's, it's hard though, because if you're even too far away, it might miss, you know? Here's the gimmick with this whole situation. Max mode is amazing in this game. So you can activate max mode by default and this leads to crazy TODs, right? That's cool. It's not very practical. There, there's very few situations where raw ass max mode is what you wanna do. You'll wanna do something called quick max and that's canceling into max mode from a, a button, from like an attack, whether on block or hit, so. Uh, and then you run your ass in. The run is automatic, thank God. If you manage to land even light attacks, you could turn any random hit into 40 to 50%, into really good damage. So in this situation, the only way Terry is gonna do anything off of that, right? I land a whole bunch of these buttons, uh, 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 right, all, bun all these buttons, but I can't do anything after him, right? Maybe I can do super? Like, I can do, you know? I could do that, but it's not really efficient. It doesn't do a lot of damage either. However, here's this. Uh-oh. Suddenly we ran in off of a couple of crouching light attacks and we have gotten into max mode, which allows us to use a bunch of meter and EXs and stuff like that. Uh-oh. So at that point, that only cost me two bars and it did nearly 50%. And I was able to do it off of just a couple of crouching light attacks. 
every character this will be different with, right? But that's the idea is that Quick Max allows you to convert off of a couple of short attacks and then quickly run in and get big damn damage, like huge fat damage. But here's the point of the whole video. It doesn't even need to be that hard. Max mode is kind of cool because it changes depending on how much, uh, which character in your roster they have. Like you get more, more meter to use. Here's what somebody told me. When you're in max mode, if you use EXs, they take away chunks, right? Big chunks. If you use a super, it takes away a bigger chunk. If you use a level two, it takes away one bar, right? One bar for a level two. However, if I pop max mode and I do it the level three, the big one, it only, it also costs one bar. Buster adventure, right? It only costs one bar. So this is where KOF 15 to me is super interesting. You are able to do an absolute metric shit ton of stuff with meter, depending on the situation. If you are able to identify how much meter you have, because Maxmo takes two bars to activate. If, if you have two bars, you can activate it. it just, the requirement's just having two bars of meter. And you're able to identify what hit you landed and go into something from that. It's kind of sick. To the point where you can even get some pretty simple stuff. Like, uh, 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 uh. So this ends up costing three bars. Solid 75 to 80%, so 70-ish, 75% damage for something that's pretty easy. That's not super hard to do. You'll have to figure out the inputs, like at what point do you cancel something? At what point do you do this? At what point do you do that? But the idea is that once you're in max mode, you should be using your supers. You should be using supers. Like when you're in max mode, a level one super just costs a chunk. So 100%, the advice that I was given that helped me out a lot to understand how to use max mode. If you're canceling into max mode from something, just go into super. It'll just make it easier. You know, you just, you're, you're essentially getting a big reward for something that's relatively easy. It's like free, it's at least one free super depending on how much stuff you've already used. So I find myself with Terry getting into this situation. Just off a couple of crouching shorts. And this is where Terry closes out games. Suddenly, that one didn't do as much damage, but it was a couple of low attacks, you know? A couple of some very remedial low attacks, and I go into a level one, and then the level three costs one extra bar, and bam, you are doing an absolute metric shit ton of damage for something that's relatively low cost. And characters have good pokes in this game, man. Like you just sit here from this range and, and try to play footsies or something, and then bam. Oh God, ow, this happens to me all the time. Like the good KOF players are doing this to me. Holy crap, ouch, oh God, you know? And that's really good. My, my recommendation to people is that when you're in max mode, just go into the super. If you have three bars, just go into a level one super from any easy ass thing you can do. Any easy little confirm. Uh, uh, uh. I went, I went, I did, I, I used the level two and the level three, so it does even more. This is four bars. And goddamn, they're almost dead. Holy shit. The poor bastard's almost dead. That might be a Terry thing, right? This is definitely the thing that I recommend uh, for anybody that is just playing the game, what you should be doing. In my recommendation, if you're just starting with this game and you're trying to get damage, as soon as you get into max mode, spend it. Spend it because it's practically free. It's kind of the comeback mechanic of the game. And I think it's cool because as a comeback mechanic, which naturally your last character is a comeback mechanic character because they get more access to meter. They just give you the ability to do a ridiculous amount of damage for relatively low cost. Something before that would be like, oh, this is gonna cost all five of your bars. No, if you do this max mode cancel thing and just go straight into level one, level three, three bars, one and done, 60, 70, 80%, depending on the character. It's a good comeback mechanic because it's relatively, you have to learn how to do it. It's not just pressing a button, but it's way more efficient than doing anything else that people are using for meter. Like all the random EXs like all over the place and stuff like that. That's still decent, but good Lord, man. Quick Max is so brutally cool and fun to do when you get used to it. So that's my personal recommendation for anybody that is trying to learn combos and what the hell should I be doing with my meter? It's one of the best things you can do in this game. And utilize max mode more efficiently instead of just burning it all, you know?